And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Immediately after the successful conclusion of his last case, Lightning Jim received two letters. One was from Bill Turner, a cattle rancher and an old friend of Jim's, who had been shot by an unknown assailant and who had written from his deathbed. He asked Jim to come to the cattle town of Broken Horn to help his son Jack clean up a rustling gang operating around there. The other letter was from the mayor of Broken Horn, Abner Thorne, asking Jim to come to town for the same reason. Thorne, however, hinted that the Turners were suspected of doing the rustling. We find Lightning Jim and Whitey now riding the trail toward the cattle town. Well, uh, what do you think about those letters, Jim? Well, Whitey, it's plumb certain that when my old friend Bill Turner tells me he needs my help, I'm going to help him. Yo, yeah, but then uh, what about this Thorn Hager? He says that the Turners is suspected of doing the rustling. Yeah, well, I know the Turners ain't guilty. We'll do us a little investigating when we get there, and then... Oh, Thunder! Fall off your horse like he got you, Whitey. Quick! Yeah, oh, sure. Oh! Lightning! Lightning, did he get you? No, no, I'm all right. I still, Whitey. Just pretended to get me. I'll play dead for a few minutes. Yeah, well, sure, I will. But, but Whitey, you want Never to... mind, never mind. I'll tell you in a minute. See any movement out there along the trail? No, I don't think I do. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's a cloud of dust the eastern back of that ridge so bad. That means he's beaten it. Thinks we're done for. Gee, this Lightning, who do you think that was? Some member of the Rustlin gang, I guess. He was laying for us in ambush. Lucky for us, he was a bad shot. Oh, but uh, why did he want us to play dead? Make him think they got us. Gives us a chance to do some scouting around without being suspected. Oh, I see. Now, I want you to go to the Turner's ranch and see what you can find out there. I'll go into town and talk to Thorne. We'll get at this rustling business from both ends. Oh, good. Uh, well, can I tell uh, Jack Turner who I am? Yeah, you can tell him, but nobody else. So our plans will be sunk. <laughs> While Lightning Jim and Whitey have been meeting danger on the trail to Broken Horn, Abner Thorne has been talking to Pete Abbott, his right-hand man. They're in Thorne's ranch house, and Abbott is speaking. Boss, I still think you're all wrong about getting Lightning Jim to come down here. He's plenty bad medicine. Sure he is, Pete. That's why I invited him. Well, that don't make sense to me. As long as Lightning Jim's roaming around these parts, we ain't safe. But if we get him out of the way and at the same time get Jack Turner convicted of cattle rustling, we'll be sitting pretty. Is that right? Well, sure, that's right. But what is that to do with... Well, Pete, before the night's over, both of them things are going to take place. Now, look. Yellow Wolf's hiding an ambush on the trail to Broken Horn. When Lightning Jim and any deputies he's got with him get in range, the half-breed's got orders to kill him. <laughs> Lightning Jim will never get here to bother us. <laughs> Say, boss, I got a hand to tell you. That'll sure take care of Lightning Jim, all right. Yeah, but, hey, what about Turner? Turner will be fixed just as pretty. I asked Sheriff Stevens to drop out this way. He'll be here any minute now. Well, while we're riding the range tonight to look over some evidence he thinks I found out about the rustlers, we're going to run plumb into Jack Turner and catch him red-handed. Well, but Turner ain't going to do any rustling. Maybe not, but the sheriff will sure think so. I got the stage all set for it. Yeah, but even so, Sheriff Stevens is too honest to do anything more than bring him back to town for trial. If he does that, Turner will stand a good chance of getting off. But there ain't going to be no trial, Pete. Well, the ranchers that have lost their cattle learn that we caught the thief, they ain't gonna be in any mood for waiting. By the time I'm through with them, they'll march into the jail and string Turner up to the nearest tree. Well, you got it all figured out, ain't you, boys? <laughs> I'd have never thought of that. Well, that's why you're working for Abner Thorne, Pete. I'm the guy with the brains. Now, get back to town and check with Yellow Wolf. Make sure everything's all set there. <laughs> Stranger, I'm Pete Abbott, the owner of this place. Glad to know you, Abbott. What you want with me? Well, I heard you was asking around for Abner Thorne, and some of the boys tell me he ain't in town. I thought I might be able to help you. I see. You connected with Thorne? <laughs> me? <laughs> hey, mayor of Broken Horn ain't having much to do with the owner of a gambling place. <laughs> no, but, well, seeing as uh, how I know pretty much of what's going on in this town, I... 
Thought maybe I could tell you what you wanted to know. Thanks, just the same, Abbott, but I reckon I'll wait uh, for the man I want to see. Hey, look, partner. This town of Broken Horn don't cotton much to close-mouthed strangers. I'm thinking you'd better tell me what your business is. What if I don't? It might not be healthy for you to leave. Keep your hand away from that gun, Abbott. Don't try no funny business. I'm a United States Marshal. A Marshal? You, you ain't Lightning Jim. Yeah, what about it? Well, but, well, I thought that... What? Where? I, I thought you was always traveled with a deputy. Yeah, I did have a deputy with me. Some dirty skunk way laid us on the trail and, well, I uh, rode in alone. Oh, say, that, that's sure too bad, Lightning. Lucky you wasn't hurt, though. Well, he did wing me in the shoulder. Not bad, though. Uh, you... You didn't get to see who took them shots at you? No, but I sure wish I had. Well, uh, say, Lightning, why didn't you tell me who you was in the first place? Uh, I wouldn't have tried to get tough with you. Well, I didn't want nobody to know who I was for a while, Abbott. But I had to tip you off to keep you from starting any trouble. Maybe getting hurt. Oh, yeah, I, I see. I, I suppose you're down this way to clean up this rustling business? That's right, Abbott. Thorn wrote and asked me to come down. Well, I can tell you what is doing the rustling right now. Again? Who is it? Them Turners is the ones responsible. Turners? Who might they be? Well, they, they got themselves a small ranch a bit south of town. The old man got himself killed stealing cows, but son Jack is still keeping up the business. Yeah, uh, if that's the case, I wonder why Thorn sent for me. Well, you see, we ain't been able to prove out on him yet. And maybe that's why he sent for you. Yeah, I'm glad you told me about this, Abbott. Make it plumb easy for me to clean up this mess in a little while. Sure you will. Uh, uh, why don't you mosey over to the stranger's rest? Uh, that's a hotel in town. When Thorne gets back, I'll see he learns you want to see him. Ain't a bad idea. Thanks again, Abbott. If you want me, you know where I'll be. The stranger's rest. Yeah. Adios, Lightning. Adios. Uh, you'll clean this up in a little while, huh, Lightning? <laughs> well, maybe I'll have something to say about that. <laughs> Me. Ah, so there you are, Yellow Wolf. Where you been so long? Me, out for boss. Me on job. Come in here, you no good half breed. If you're out on a job, why didn't you do it, you Henry Redskin? Me do it, Pete. Me do it. Don't job. you lie to me, you no good weasel. No lie. Me do job. Hey, this will refresh your memory. Oh. 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 Come on. What about that job? What happened? No hit me, Pete. No hit me more. Why didn't you get lightning, Jim? Me shoot. Me get him. You got a deputy. Ah, uh, you only nicked lightning in the shoulder. You were too yellow to finish the job. That's what wrong. Uh, no could tell. Me shoot, they fall. Ah, nice mess you got us into. Lightning, Jim, in town, and Thorne don't even know it. I got to get us out of this quick. Want me shoot him now? Yeah, that'd be smart, wouldn't it? Kill him here in town and have everybody know who did it. Now, oh, let me think. Hey, I got it. You know where the big rock is on the Smoky Trail? Oh, uh, me know. Well, I'm going out there, and you'll show up later. Uh. Now, listen. You go to Stranger's Rest uh, in a little while, and uh, then tell the marshal that you can lead him to where the Russells will be operating tonight. You got it? Oh, uh, me savvy. Yeah, then, then you lead him out to Big Rock where I'll be hiding, and when you get him there, well, I'll show you that I'm a better shot than you are. I won't miss him. This time, he'll be dead for good. While Lightning Jim has been busy in Broken Horn, Whitey has been following the trail to the Turner Ranch. We find him now on the porch of the ranch house. Well, stranger, what can I do for you? See, are you Jack Turner? Yep. Well, my name is Whitey Larson. I am a deputy... Whitey Larson? Well, you're like the Jim's deputy, ain't you? Yeah, well, sure. Well, gosh, I'm glad to see you, Whitey. I was hoping that... Yeah, but say, where's Lightning Jim? He's in Broken Horn. He's seeing what he can find out about them rustlers. Uh, come out here to see what you can tell me about them. Well, fine. Hey, could you use a bite to eat? Could <laughs> you say, well, say, yeah. I'm so hungry, I was just about to start eating my horse. <laughs> well, come on in, Whitey, and I'll have the cook fix you up something. See, it uh, looks like you'll have some more company, Jack. Yeah. Hey, it looks like Jake Robinson. I wonder what he wants here. Oh, oh. Hey. Howdy, Jake. What can I do for you? Howdy, sir. You can't do nothing for me, but maybe I can help you a bit. Oh, well, what's on your mind? Well, I just seen something I thought might interest you. Uh, what's that, Jake? I was cutting across your ranch on my way back to town. 
Just as I was passing through the head of half pint coley, I see a bunch of your cattle milling around. And there was a fire burning about halfway down through the coley. What do you make of it? Make of it? Well, there ain't no question. It looks like them rustlers are at it again. Yeah, that's what I thought. I come up here to tell you about it. Oh, thanks, Jake. I sure appreciate oh, that. Forget it, Turner. Hope you catch him. Come on, boy. Get up. Adios, Turner. Adios. Well, Whitey, looks like you got here just in time. Come on. Let's get going out to half pint coolie. Yo, I'm red right with you, Jack. I'm awful hungry, but I guess I have to eat for my supper. Just that fire, all right. This burning there, you stop ahead there. Yeah, yeah, I see it. See, they got the steer tied up, too. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, it looks like Jake was right. Yo, well, we better stop here and look around before we go out and open. We can see pretty good from here. Yeah. See anything, Whitey? No, I don't see any men around. No, yeah, neither do I. Yo, I bet somebody's been there. That steer is hog tied and there's the branding irons in the fire. Yeah, and the running irons, too. For changing brands. Yo, know, it looks like them rustlers have been busy, all right. Well, seems how nobody's around. Let's get out there. Maybe we can find something that'll lead us to the gang. Yo, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, they were here, all right. Something must have scared them away. Say, look at that steer. I'm so hungry I could eat him raw. <laughs> now, there's no fair taking a bite out of the evidence. <laughs> no, but that's your life, too. See, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Oh, what is it, Whitey? Somebody changed the brand of this steer, huh? Changed the brand? Well, let me see. Well, I sure did. What? They changed it to the Turner brand. Now, why do you suppose they did that? Well, I don't know yet. Give us the brand before. Yeah, well, let's see if we can make it out. Yeah. Looks like it might have been. All right, you do. Dig him up. Come on, Turner. Put him up and don't try any tricks. Thorn and Sheriff Stevens. Hey, what you got your guns on us for? Yeah, uh, don't tell me you're as dumb as all that, Turner. Who's this hombre, would you tell him? Why, this fellow's a... I am just a wandering cowboy. I, I come up from Texas, and I just land a job here with Jack Turner. Yeah? Well, it looks like he just got here in time to get into plenty of trouble. Sheriff, what's he driving at? Seems plenty clear to me, Turner. Looks like we caught you red-handed. Caught me? At what? At brain blotting, that's what. Thorn, you're going too far. Yeah. If it ain't so, maybe you can explain this hog-tied steer. Them running irons, the fire. The whole setup's as plain as day. Why, sure. Yeah, lucky we've seen the fire, Thorn, though we was riding the range. I guess we got them rustlers all right. Yeah, there ain't no doubt about it, Sheriff. I suppose you get the horses and I'll watch these hombres. We take them back to town and try them. Right, John, Thorn. I haven't horses here in a minute. Now, well, the truth behind all this will come out at the trial, Thorn. You're big gallus. This is a frame up. They, they can convict the innocent men. Maybe not, boys. Maybe not. But your case ain't ever going to be tried. Hey, what do you mean by that, Thorn? Oh, nothing much, boys. Nothing much. Only I'm going to make it my business to see that the two of you are hanging from a tree before morning. <laughs> It looks as though Thorne's plot is working. Will he be able to carry out his threat against Whitey and Jack? And what about Lightning Jim? Will Pete Abbott's scheme to ambush him at Big Rock work? We'll find the answers to these questions in the exciting second part of this thrilling adventure, which will follow immediately. And now for part two of Lightning Jim Visits Broken Horn. Lightning Jim is in his room in Broken Horn, little knowing that Pete Abbott, Thorne's right-hand man, has planned a trap and kill him. 
There's a knock on the hotel room door. Come in. Oh, you lightning, Jim? Yeah, what's gonna do for you? Me, Yellow Wolf. Me come help you. Help me in what way? Me know rustlers and where they meet tonight. We'll lead you there. You pay me money. So that's it, eh? You'll take me to where they're meeting for a prize. Uh. Well, you know I'm not so keen about this idea of yours, but I got to get them rustlers some way, and so far this looks like the best bet I've seen. All right, lead on, Yellow Wolf. We are going to Big Rock. <laughs> Smart rifle you got there, Yellow Wolf. Uh, him, repeat rifle. That's so. Let me see it, will you? Sure. Oh, thunder, oh boy. Here. Dang. Hmm. Winchester repeater. Sure, a nice gun. Uh, what you do? Why you look in rifle magazine? Oh, just wondered what kind of ammunition you use, that's all. You know, Yellow Wolf, you ought to keep this magazine full. Him full? Give gun back. Looks like there's three bullets fired. Give gun back. Me put away. You know, I was shot at today. Three shots, too. Funny, ain't it? Uh, give rifle back. Why'd you shoot at us today, Yellow Wolf? Who put you up to it? Me no shoot. Me no shoot. Oh, yes, you did. This rifle of yours tells the story. And I got you covered with it. Come on. Out with it. Quick. Because my trigger fingers just itching for action. No, 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 shoot me. Me tell. Me tell all. Well, that's better. Go on, spill it. Thorn, him make me do. Me no want, but him make me. Thorn, eh? Thought so. Where were you taking me just now? To Big Rock. Pete, he wait there. Him kill you. Oh, Pete Abbott's in with Thorn, and he's waiting to kill me. Huh. Well, now, I don't like to disappoint people, so I reckon I'll have to go there and meet him. But him kill you, sure. No, I don't think so, Yellow Wolf, because I ain't going to follow his plan. I got one of my own. Now, this is what I want you to do, Yellow Wolf. <laughs> Sound fool. Want to wake up the whole countryside? What are you doing here alone? Where's Lightning Jim? Him no come. Him in broken arm. And broken horn? Uh, Flash your red hide. Didn't I tell you to bring him here to me so I could get him? Uh, he no one come. No blame me. Ah, uh, no blame you. Why, you ornery half-breed. That's two times I fell down on the job today. You didn't see me fall down on the job when I don't have to Bill Turner, did you? I killed him all right, didn't I? Uh, yeah, and but... the big boys don't fall down on the job. I got Jack Turner framed by that rustling, and if his plan works, why, Turner will be hung before morning. That don't sound like making any mistakes, does it? No, Pete. You do good job. Boss do good job. Yeah, you're darn tootin' we do good jobs. And if you want to save your measly hide, you'd better do a good job from now on yourself. Huh. Me do, Pete. What we do now? Well, you better get to town and take care of Lightning Jim so he don't bother the boss. Come on, let's get going. I'll save you the trouble, Abbott. What? You can take care of me right now. Lightning Jim? What are you doing here? I got a little business with you. Business? What kind of business? Abbott, I'm arresting you for the murder of Bill Turner. What? For the murder? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh? Well, I overheard your conversation with the Yellow Wolf here. I got you dead to right. You think you're pretty smart, don't you, huh? Well, it'll take more than a man with a wounded right arm to break oh, me. Oh, quiet, Abbott. Nah, you'll get what's coming to you, dirty no. <laughs> you draw a gun like lightning. And with left hand. I reckon I had to, Yellow Wolf. It was him or me. But we ain't got time to talk now. Abbott's dead, but from what he said before, it looks like Jack Turner's in a peck of trouble. Come on, Yellow Wolf. We got to get back to town before it's too late. Meanwhile, back in Broken Horn, Whitey and Jack Turner have been thrown into jail to await trial on charges of rustling. Thorne has gone to the Golden Wheel to stir up the cattlemen there in an effort to have them take the prisoners from jail and lynch them. We find Whitey and Jack discussing the situation. Begalish, you did this year, it's awful place. I wish lightning him was sir. Oh, why don't you tell the sheriff who you are? That'd get us off without any trouble. Well, it's like I told you, Jack, I can't do that. I got to wait for lightning to get there. Yeah, but what if he don't get here in time? 
Remember what Thorne said about hanging us? Oh, he'll get terrible, right? By golly, I wish I had something to eat. I'm so hungry I could eat my cartridge belt. Oh, how can you sit there and talk about food, Whitey? Don't you realize that our lives are in danger? I can't help that. I'm still hungry. Hey, you hear that, Whitey? Yo, it sounds like Thorne is getting the mob together. Yeah, that's what I've been afraid of. Let's look out and see. Sounds like they mean business, all right. They sure do. Why do you, you got to tell them who you are? Yeah, if they come in here, I'll tell them, all right. But maybe the sheriff can stop them. Well, he, he's out there now. Open up them doors, sheriff. We want them prisoners. If you don't better see, we'll break it. Yeah. United States Marshal. Jim Whipple. Jim. Yeah, that's what they call me. And I'm here to stop this little necktie party. What do you mean, stop it? We caught these two rustlers red-handed and we're going to string them up. Is that right, boys? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Just a minute, boys. You happen to be having a thorn? That's right. I may have broken horn. That's what I thought. You sent for me to catch them rustlers, didn't you? Yeah, but we don't need you now. We already got them. Uh, these the men? That's right. One of them, Jack Turner. The others are no good cattle thief from Texas. Now, that's plumb funny, Thorn. You see, I was certain you was behind all this rustling. Uh, what does he mean? Why, he's Now, look here. That's a pretty serious accusation you're making there. Marshal or no marshal, you ain't got no call to talk to me like yeah, that. Yeah, when I got evidence to back up what I say... Yellow Wolf, come here. Now, I want you men to listen to me. This Indian Yellow Wolf was in the employ of Abner Thorne. He knows all about Thorne's rustling activities and some other, murder included. That right, Yellow Wolf? That right. Me know. Me tell all. Hey, you don't think anybody take a no good half breed word again, mine, do you? Maybe not, but you'll take my word. I heard Yellow Wolf and Pete Abbott talking together, and they gave away the whole setup. Thorne and Abbott was doing the rustling, and they tried to pin it on Jack Turner. That's a lie. A sheriff and me caught Turner red-handed. That's right. We've seen them ourselves. That was a frame-up. You see, them two men over there couldn't be the rustlers because that two-headed one happens to be Whitey Lawson, my deputy marshal. Whitey Lawson? Whitey Lawson? Yo, that's right, by Gallus. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't give me the chance. Well, know what you say, Thorne. Say, say, I... Let me out of here. Out of my way. Let me through, I tell you. Let me through, I tell you. Oh. Oh. He got him, Lightning. He got him in the leg. Yeah. Come here, Thorn. Well, you ready to talk now? I'll talk. I'll talk. Don't shoot again. Don't shoot. He's right. 
I was behind it. I'll tell you all about it. Well, I guess that's all we need to know now. A couple of you take him into the jail. Lock him up. I sure we will. Yeah, come on, Horn. Come oh, on. my leg. You go, too, oh, Yellow Wolf. I'll see you get as light a sentence as possible. Uh, we go, Lightman, Jim. We go. By golly, Lightman, you sure came here just in time. <laughs> Now, don't tell me you were afraid I wouldn't get you in time to stop the hanging, Whitey. Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. By yumping him in it, oh, I was afraid that they'd hang me before I get the chance to eat. <laughs> <laughs> And so ends another exciting experience in the thrilling lives of Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Lawson, United States Marshals of the Old West. Mm-hmm.